Hello friends, you are watching C Programming Tutorial Classes brought to you by AngPro Training. And topics for this class are 2D Array, Structure, Declaration and Initialization of 2D Array and some example programs as we always discuss. Right, in the last class we have learned so much about the array, how we declare it, how we, how we initialize it and how we can implement uh, the array in C programming by making use of for loops. Alright, so in this class we will be learning the two dimensional array. So it is same as array but here you can have a more number of values arranged in rows and columns. Two dimensional array has two indexes whereas uh, an, a normal array, a single dimensional array has one index. Uh, in the last class if you remember we stored 10 integer numbers uh, right uh, in the variable called marks of 10 size. So that's a single index. 10 is an index. It represents the uh, size of the memory, it represents the size of the variable uh, and the index also. You can call it as index. So in two dimensional array in two dimensional array we have two indexes the two dimensional array is represented in the form of rows and columns like a matrix uh, so if you are aware of the matrix how the elements are arranged in a matrix same way a two dimensional array is going to have the elements two dimensional three dimensional or other dimensional arrays are also known as multi dimensional arrays right if uh, if you are if you are using only two indexes with uh, array variable that's called as two dimensional array and you can also have multi dimensional assigned to an array so multi dimensional arrays are uh, arrays that have more than one index right so now let's see how to declare and initialize that array so this is how we or declare the multi-dimensional array I mean especially two-dimensional array so this is the array name and the two indexes with some values in it right so first is the first index and this is second index this is the first index and this is second index the first index represents the number of rows as we normally do with the matrix and this the number of columns right so there are two rows and two columns it is a perfect square matrix if you want to assign the numbers assign the variables at the beginning of the declaration I mean if you want to initialize so initialize in this way matrix 2 of 2 which means which are going to have two rows and two columns 2 into 2 gives you 4 so you can have 4 elements stored in it so it starts from uh, putting the elements in the first row okay it starts from the first row and it goes down the rows uh, so the first two elements will be stored in the first two uh, cells I mean in the first row and five and six the two last two elements are stored in the second row uh, that is in the second row third and fourth place so let's look at how the memory of 2D array looks like if if our declaration is this matrix consisting of two into two dimensional this is the structure we can uh, we can store the elements in so this place is for zero row and zero column so this is zero row right so this is first row first row is indexed with zero and this is the first column first col first column is indexed with zero so so this is zero row and zero column and this is first column and this is zero row and first column likewise this is first row zeroth column first row and first column so 2 comes this place 3 comes to this place 5 here and 6 here in this place so it starts from left and start assigning the numbers into the cells uh, by going to right side by going towards right now let's go and create this matrix having two rows and two columns and let's assign these values into that matrix by making use of 2D array. 
So first I'll go and declare the array here matrix of two rows and two columns. And we need two variables for two for loops. I'll tell you why. If we have matrix of two into two dimension, uh, so this will be the memory uh, allocation, right? So this two represents uh, the first row. I mean this zero and this zero. And in the next, so to iterate through this, we have one for variable called i. And here we'll assign one more for variable called j to iterate through um, by referencing the column number, right? So we'll put the value of i here in the first index. So i will be here and i will be here and j in the second index. i into j, i into j. As long as i value remains constant, we are in the same row. When i changes, we change the row. As long as j value, I mean in the second index, remains constant, we are in the same column. When it changes its value, uh, we go to the next column. So for that purpose, I'll be using the first for loop. Here I'll keep i value equals to uh, 0. When i value is less than or equal to 1, it should iterate right incrementing the i value another for loop inside here start with j j value equals to 0 j is less than or equal to 1 j plus plus So here inside the for loop, so I'm indenting just to make you sure that we are putting the for inside another for. So here I'll use the scanf function, right? It will accept the element every time. Ampersand matrix i cross j. See, look at your friends, what I'm doing here. When i value is 0, loops, uh, loop control comes inside having j value 0, right? When i 0, j 0 means we are referring to the first cell of the first row. So that location is referenced and the, uh, and the item that came in or the number that came in will be allocated or stored in matrix of 0 into 0. And j value incremented before going back to the loop, the upper loop. So j value incremented to 1. 1 is less than or equal to 1. Yes, it is. So i value remains the same here. i value is 0. Still i value is 0. j value is 1. That means we are referring, that means we are referencing to the 0 and first matrix of 0 and 1 location. That is the second location of the first row. So that will be allocated. Whenever j changes to 2, it goes back to the upper loop, changing i value to 1. When i is 1, j remains 0 because j initializes its value again from 0. At that time, i is 1, j is 0. That means we are, we are in the second row, right? So this happens every time. So I'll just copy this. And I'll paste it below here, right? So here I'll tell, so this is for printing the matrix. Matrix elements are, right, instead of scanf, I'll use the printf. So here I'll put the slash t character, so to, to have more space between the elements. And here, after one row gets over, I'll have the slash n character because it has to move to the next line, right? 
and here we should not have this ampersand so the iteration happens same here when i value is 0 j value is 0 matrix 0 of 0 is referenced when j gets 1 0 1 referenced and when j is 2 it goes back to this loop here here uh, i incremented to 1 okay so when i is 1 j still is 0 because j starts its value from 0 so when i is 1 j is 0 1 0 that means first place in the second row 1 0 and then 1 1 when it is 1 2 it goes back here when it is 2 it gets back out of the loop it's get out of the loop so let's run this program enter the matrix element s yes, 2 3 5 and 6 so matrix elements are 2 3 5 6 that's we have got right so friends do this program uh, more and more times having the different uh, numbers in the index places so you will come to understand so it's very easy to learn well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on youtube like our page on facebook follow us on twitter and join our group on linkedin thank you